Hey everybody. How is everybody? I hope you're all good. Uh, we're all good over here. Um, my plan for today is to, um, this, these are two little girl, uh, jack, one's a jacket, one's a vest. I'm going to cut the sleeves off of this one and make it a vest. Um, for my best friends, granddaughters, um, their names are Melody and Bella. So cute, so cute. Um, I'm going to um, embellish these. I've seen it done on Pinterest before. I've never done it, but we're going to do it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get to this one uh, today, but um, if I don't, I will do a video of this one. Only thing I couldn't find for this one is when I cut the sleeves off, I want to fray the the armhole with the seam ripper, and I can't find my seam ripper. So we're gonna go with this white, cute white one. Look how cute! It's got the um, crocheted on the uh, back and the up here at the chest. So cute. But let's uh. Let's see what we're going to do with this. So cute. Um, like I said, I haven't done this before, and I have a lot of materials over here. Um, I don't know if I want to go with gray or uh, beige. Gray and white or beige and white on this. Um, hmm. I'm thinking beige and white on the white. I think that'd be pretty. Very pretty. So how you want to do this is um, we're going to open it up so we're looking at the wrong side, the inside of it. And you want the waistband to be flat. Okay, and how you want to do it is you want to do your shortest pieces uh, first, because this is a no-sew. As you can tell, there's no sewing machine out here. Okay, so beige and white. Um, that's too white. Like I said, I just brought a bunch of stuff out here. I'm not real sure, you know, exactly what the heck it is I'm going to do. So this is definitely longer than that. Okay, so what we'll do, this is basically the same color white. Some whites are different, so you don't want to use something way off as far as color goes. This is a table runner. I probably got that at the thrift store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the length of it because we're going to put this on first. Because this will be, I'll show you, I'll show you. <clears throat> After we put this on, I'll show you that um, your first layer is going to be the um, the first layer you see. And then when you add layers, it's it's going to be underneath of that. So it, it, it'll make sense when, when I pick it up and show you how to do it. Um, scissors. Scissors. I do have pins in case I need some pins to pin stuff on. Have this in case I so I don't burn my fingers with the hot glue gun. Um, and the glue you use on something like this that is no so is the um, Sure Bonder fabric glue glue sticks. And make sure when if you order them or buy them that they are like solid white because then they are for fabric. That's 
This stuff ain't going nowhere. You can wash it in the washing machine. No kidding. Okay, so let's cut our piece right here. Like I said, this is a table runner, so. We can always trim up later, you know. So don't cut too short. What's that saying? Uh, measure, measure twice, cut once. That's for like every uh, profession. Now, because I just want this bottom, the bottom part of this uh, table runner, I'm going to cut along this straight edge right here. So that's done. So all we have left is um, is this. Just it's basically lace. So if you bought a roll of lace about this this you know width, by all means use that. If you have it, use it. Um, I just tried to grab what stuff I had. All right, so now we're going to um, we're going to start gluing. I have my glue gun on low. I might have to put it on high. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go right at the seam, right at the seam of the very bottom of the vest. And I am going on the back, the bad side, because I don't, I want the um, I want the front of the vest to stay like it is. Okay, and just so you know, this shirt bonder, if you've watched me before, you know this stuff is hot, 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 hot. But you have to you have to push it into the other fabric to get it to work good. And just do little sections. It's not too bad on low temp. Not too bad. it straight and press it down and this is gonna be cute just with this one piece on there but I'm thinking layers is what I want to do
Okay, none of it's coming up, so that's good. Okay, see what I meant about measure twice, cut once? See, I'm a little bit long which is great because I don't want to be short. So we're just going to glue it where we want it. And then we will trim it. We'll trim it to fit. Oh man, look at these glue strings. So, we're just going to cut right there. That's it. Okay, so now I have to think. Um, my next layer. So, you got to kind of think backwards. My next layer. Um, see I have these and I have no idea what these are these are very old I'm sure I have no clue what they are something grandma used to own I'm sure let's see how long this is So if I put this up here, if I put this up here, am I going to see the tail right here? Yeah, I will. Because it'll be like this, if I do this first, which is longer than the white, and then I do um, this real pretty, this real pretty end on this one. If I do this, let's see, I can make it go longer. Now what I have to do is see if I like the way that looks. Oh, and I do like the way that looks. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so we have our first piece, and I'm going to say this is probably two inches, maybe two and a half inches wide of this white lace right here. So this lace, I'm definitely going to have to use um, my popsicle stick. Where did it go? There it is. Because if I don't, I will burn myself. And when we're done, <clears throat> when we're completely done, we're going to put um, a binding that cut, hides all of the, the edges of the ribbon that we glued on. And it's not going to go nowhere. Nowhere. promise you that. Okay, so... Oh, I'm going to get burnt on this one. There's no, there's no protection on this lace. So I just have to remember my popsicle stick. So I'm going to put the glue on the top of the, uh, the first ribbon.
and I'm just running the stick down like to to hold it. When I get this this part done, I'll show you what it looks like, you know, uh, right side out. I'm being brave doing that. Just kind of be quick with it. If you use a, if you have those finger protectors, use those because you'll you'll be fine. Um, just if you use a popsicle stick or something like that, just be quick about it, so that it doesn't actually the popsicle stick sticks to the to your project. Just keep your line straight. Well, that wasn't too bad. See, this is going to be cute just like this. So you probably, you know, this is enough. I will look at it and see if I want to add more. Cute, cute, cute. It's a little time consuming, but oh, it's worth it. What? This little girl's going to have something that nobody else has. So unique. Nobody else is going to have it. And people are going to be like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Oh, I need a stick. I would make sure you stay under the uh, the buttonhole. Of course, you, usually when you wear a vest, you don't really button it. But if you wanted to button it, you want to stay, keep the lace and everything under the buttonhole. The bottom buttonhole. Okay, so look. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is already. Let's see. Get down there. See, look how cute that is. Is that not girly or what? Okay, so I'm going to cut this. Thank you. 
and I have to decide if I want to um, if I want to uh, do I want to do another layer which I think I do but I don't know if I want to do that or I have this dress which is really stinking cute the bottom of it is so cute but it's not really the right color tan it's not the right color tan so um, maybe I'll just do this little flap I am gonna um, I'm gonna pin it though and look at it first put a couple pins in it and see if this is what I like. Okay, well, you won't see that, so we'll tuck that under, because I'll cut that off. See how cute that, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Let me look at it. Yes, that is precious. That is absolutely precious. Okay, and we still won't be done though, because we're going to put on the, the good side of the back of the vest, we're going to put um, an embellishment just to accent it. Alright, so I like this. Put my pins back. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to the denim one tonight, but I will definitely, uh, if I don't do a video of doing that one, I will, um, I will do a video of it when it's done, and I'll put them side by side so you can see. even I don't measure I just eyeball I just want to make sure like it's centered and you can judge that by the back Let me come over a little bit more okay so we're gonna cut that I'm going to cut it a little taller than I need because I can always go back and trim it after the fact. I know some people are probably cringing. She's cutting what, I don't even know what this is. I'm going to call it a, a kerchief. I don't know, but I got it for about nothing, so. I do have some little scraggly strings. Cut that off. This actually looks factory made, so it might not be old. 
That's cute. Cute, cute. Okay, so you see where we're at here? This is what we have down. And we're gonna put this on top of that. And then this is gonna show underneath the, the tan um, lace. So, let's get going with this. And I think I am, because it has a point on it. I'm just going to do a little tiny dab to keep that where it's supposed to be. And all this rough edge, like I said, we're going to hide that. Oh, I hear my dog is wanting out. Oh, he's so bad. He always interrupts me when I try to do something. It's got to be right up my hiney. Oh, see, that's hot. I know I do that every video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put one little dot right here just to keep it in place because it's not like, um, I don't want it to fold in. Um, I wonder if I did that down here, if it would show. It probably would. show. Let's just do a little tiny fast line right there. Probably will show and then I'm going to be pissed about it. Oops, I glued it to the tablecloth. <laughs> Oh, that's cute, 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 cute. Isn't that cute? To the bottom, the sides. Now I'm just kind of wondering, should I put, should I put, um, hmm, that is cute. But what I want to do, I already made one. But I'll show you guys how to make it. This is kind of too white though. It's too white. I don't know if I can do it with this. Um, hold on, I think I can do it with this. I think for a second. Um, <clears throat> scissors. Okay, if I 
cut I cut the gathering part off and I'm just going to end up with um, like lace off of a roll <clears throat> off of a roll okay let me show you the one I made ah see this is too bright white and I don't like it this cute little shabby bow flower I, I'm going to call it a flower but see how white this this is it, I don't know maybe that's not too white oh I just ruined my lace you know what we're just going to go with this I think this will be cute what I want to do is put it like right in the middle of the back I don't know. Maybe we'll do this. Let's see what this turns out like. Let's just see what it turns out like. And then I can show you how to make it. There's no rhyme or reason. It's super easy. Um, okay, so I'm thinking... Keep your scraps. I don't care what it is. Keep it because you could use it for something eventually sometime. So I just cut the top, cut this very top off that keeps it gathered. So now we have this, which is, ooh, that's great. It's stretchy. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, so what I did, hold on, I need my rubber band. You have to have these little tiny, itty bitty, itty bitty, teeny tiny uh, rubber bands. Believe me, when I say they're tiny, they're tiny. Um, they're like clear looking. Let's see, what color do I want? I want a yellow one, because that'd be closer. <clears throat> So you need a rubber band. Which I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. And what you do is you take your lace. Um, this could even be cut more. Could be cut in half again. Let me cut it in half again. It's pretty wide. We might not need that piece. Okay, so you're going to take the lace and you're going to, you can spread your fingers apart if you want to. You're going to wrap it around and around. I'm going to go ahead and do this piece too. And go around and around and around and around. Then You're going to keep it together, how you had it around your hand. You're going to hold it in the middle. Hold it in the middle. <clears throat> Take your little rubber band and go in the middle. And go around. And around. Do it as many times as you can. These little rubber bands are like very uh, flexible. So I went around, I think, three or four times. So then it looks like you have a... It's like you have a little bow tie. It's like a little bow tie. But we're not going to keep it like that. Okay? So we're going to take your scissors. And you're going to try to get through all the layers. And this is going to get messy. 
you think you got them all, that's fine. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of try to get through there. Cut them all in half, which I think I did. You'll know if you did it. Okay, so we cut all the, the end loops from the bow tie and we're just going to twist. <clears throat> just pull it around this and there. You can uh, tug it on any way you want, but um, that's why you need your rubber band really tight so that you don't pull, pull it out. And then you can always trim You can trim, you know, to the to the roundness of the uh, flower that you want. So, see, I got scragglies. I'm gonna cut them off. See, with the white, you can see it a little better. And I think my uh, white one, the uh, lace ribbon was smaller. Um, See, that's cute. Okay, where's my white one at? That I said was too big. What did I do with it? Threw it somewhere. What did I do with it? I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right on the vest. <laughs> okay. So, Okay, they do look completely different. This looks more like a rosette. This is like a shabby chic little, I don't know, rag flower. But, that's very cute. And I think I want to put that right here in the center. Because it matches the tan, the tan lace. So... I'm going to do that, and then i got to figure out what I want to put in the middle of the flower. So I want to do a button, which will probably be pretty. I have buttons, and I have, I have that. That's a little antique-y looking. I don't know if this would look good. This is